So welcome back to another Holy 4 video. I'm going to be making another tutorial video on how to do achievements. I'm going to actually be doing two in one here. It's going to be doing the... Actually, I can't remember the name of the uh, <laughs> the achievement. I should have really checked. The United Netherlands achievement. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing two versions of this. One using the focus tree to do it and one doing it as fast as possible. I'm going to be doing the one... The first one is going to be doing it as fast as possible which is going to be the old a strategy actually the one I had actually made a video on before before this DLC even came out so I'm going to be doing that one first and then the second one will be using the focus tree to do it like using the like this focus tree to actually go and get uh, unite the highlands and lowlands under the Netherlands okay so first focus we're going to do is the new government you know your units and switch them so first okay we need to grab this division right here this infantry division from the uh dutchy cindy's and convert all our units to that and then just train them our tech will be uh, no whoops it will be trench warfare radio uh electronics and machine tools and we will only be constructing mills. I'm going to put one mill on regular artillery, and the rest are going to be on guns. Okay, and we're going to train 22 of this division. Get to put them over in Batavia. And assign them to... Oh. Right, I'll click over here. So I am to them. Let's uh, get some trade for some steel from the Soviets, so just so our guns are getting as much steel as they like, possibly can. We'll put them to the top, so the new res well, so these will take these will lose steel first, then that will lose steel second, and the, like because these two aren't as important as getting the guns out. Just check, keep checking up on your units, just make sure that like when they get equipment that you can just deploy them. Okay, for research now that we're, that's finished, we're going to grab our construction. Actually. No, we're going to grab our radios. Mechanical computing. Basic machine tools finished. We're going to choose dispersed industry. The reason why I'm choosing dispersed industry, even though I'm small, is because of the production efficiency. If we have 100 political power, so what we're going to do is we're going to ban fascism. Okay, gateway to Europe is finished. What we're going to do now is go for the ab abandon the gold standard. And we're going to keep placating the British and the Germans every single time this finishes. We're going to do it again. Over and over and over until they get both get have 50. Oh yeah, um, one thing you can do. I I just I actually just learned this. You can if even though it's uh, divisions from the Dutchy cities, you can deploy them in Ham in Amsterdam. So I'm guessing if you do have uh, colonial divisions, you can technically put uh, you can technically spawn them in your own nation. And I didn't know that. All right, so abandon gold standards finished. We're doing overturn the military budget. Okay, so this should be the last one that we'd have to do. Unless Germany and Britain start... Well, unless Britain starts doing the placating, which they shouldn't. Okay, so the British have pulled over by five, so we'll put the British... Uh, we'll put the Germans up by five. And so... Oh. Ooh, they're both finished, so what we'll do is we'll do Disperse 2 and Construction 1. And now we will do Maintain Trade Neutrality. Okay, so we have 150 political power, but we're not going to be spending any. We're going to wait for this to finish. All right, so we may change new trade neutrality. We'll go for the communist for legacy of the Zevin. Pos not even going to try mutiny. <laughs> legacy of the mutiny. That's that's why I've taken it as. Still not going to do it. We're still not going to use any political power. All right, so now that Legacy of the Mutiny is finished, we are going to go and start working towards getting rid of Shell Shock Spectator of the Great War. And now we have a ton of political power, so we're going to choose the Communist Revolutionary, and we're going to hold on to that political power. All right, all our divisions, all my divisions have been deployed, and now we can promote Godfried to be our Field Marshal. Okay, uh, once we have 10% towards Communism, we will. Well, I, I, I actually kind of fast a little bit but we're gonna open political discourse okay, construction one is finished we will now go towards construction two okay once we've finished the prepare the inundation lines and we can't really go any further so we'll be continuing the public works 
All right, so our first of, of, of possible communism events, we get 10% communism from, from this. And hopefully we'll get a few more. We'll do the uh, Nordost Polder as our next focus. All right, so since we finished the dispersed two, actually, no, it was improvised, uh, improvised machine tools. I'm going to click the dispersed industry, th industry three, but we're not going to do it now. We're going to switch to the support weapons. Okay, since the Nordusterpold is finished, we're going to do Germany as the greater threat. Well, actually, depending on how you're going to play this, it could be either of these. You could choose either of them, but generally, since we're on historical, Germany is the greater threat is the better one to go for because they're 100% going to go to war with you. Britain will not declare war on you for this, for going communist. All right, so now we have 40% political power, uh, sorry, political power, uh, popularity for communism. Sadly, I didn't get any events this time, which would have made this a lot faster. Pretty much just when you get 40%, if you get events for it, that's even better. But 40% hit discre discredit government, and you'll have 50% to hold a national referendum. And we have more than enough political power now to start justifying. So go to justify once on Belgium. Justify again on Luxembourg. And cancel our justification on Belgium and justify again on Belgium. That way they're just... That, that way that they're synced and since we have spared political power now we could go for early mode but but i'm actually probably going to go for the military theorist when you get 10 ex army experience like this uh slap some artillery onto your division it'll take some time for it yeah it pretty much take no time to replace that arm, uh, army experience but well the uh it'll take no time to fill in the artillery but yeah it's better for when you're fighting Belgium later. All right, now we can go for war and pacifism since uh, since our justifications have boosted world, world tension up above 15%. All right, next we'll grab the computing machine. Once our artillery is finished, we're going to now grab the improved infantry equipment. And War on Pacifism is finished, so now we will go and do Red is the New Orange. And always do the anti-pacifist propaganda, even though it's a little higher in political power usage. Uh, yeah, always always try to do this one because it's it, does, it doesn't it does affect your country as much. And it, it gives you the most out of it. You're not losing anything when you're doing this. Oh yeah. Once uh, you might notice it, the world tension is higher than 25%, but... They're not getting guaranteed, and there's a reason for this, and it seems to me that in the game's code for the AI, if a country is democratic and has the ability to guarantee another nation, they will not guarantee a nation that is being justified on by a communist nation under the conditions that the communist nation has not declared any wars since the justification. Like, previous to the justification. So since I haven't declared any wars before doing these justifications, they will not guarantee the nations I'm justifying on. So pretty much as a communist nation in this game, you have a free single justification. That's why, for instance, the Soviets can justify on Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Finland. Well, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and Finland is probably based on the fact that they have the uh, claims in the Baltics, which the AI will not guarantee. But if you wait it as a Soviet Union and you haven't caused any world tension and you say justify it on Ireland, who doesn't have it who hasn't a part of that they still will not get guaranteed even though that you haven't then like as long as even if the world tension is higher than 25 percent they will not get guaranteed that's just what, what i found from my own experience though all right we'll give you the rest of those and well you don't i'm not going to give you anything all right so now this is finished we're going to get enemies on all fronts we've got a ton of manpower now so we could start replacing the units but we're going to wait until after our war. Eh, actually, no. Now that I've noticed, our justifications are about to be finished, so we're going to wait. Also, do not just, just do not declare war once you get the war goal in Lux Luxembourg. To wait for your war goal in Belgium to finish, and then declare war on both at the same time. And the reason why that is, is that if you justified on... If you declared war in Luxembourg, that would, that would trigger the fact that the game has decided that you've declared a war... And since you're communist and you've used your war 
like your single one up, that means that the Allies can go and guarantee Belgium before that. So you need to wait until you have both of them and declare war at the same time. That way they don't go and try to go against you or anything like that. Oh, I got the. I got that bug. All right, so they're, they're pretty. The Belgians are pretty much a p pushover, so you should just be able to easily beat them with it with a good uh, just a plan, but a plan to push. Enemies all in all fronts is finished, so now we'll do Haven of Tolerance. And radios are finished, so now we will do. Disperse Industry 2. Uh, 3, sorry. Ooh, okay, they're done. So I'm gonna Puppet Zaire, Rwanda, Burundi, and then... An oh, not Puppet, Annex. <laughs> that would've been bad if I went all this way and puppeted them by accident. And, yep, just... Order units to just go take uh, Luxembourg. They're pretty easy. They only have one, like, four with infantry or something like that. Oh, how perfect. And Annex M. Now you can hit the... Repudiate the Treaty of London. Oh, and uh, that. And now we have a ton of manpower to pretty much do whatever we want. So that should be the achievement. And th this is the uh, the quicker version of it. So you can just like, I don't know, pop, pop some more on that. Maybe take that off. Get some support equipment and some anti-air in preparation for the war with Germany or something like that, you know? And now that you have, you're gonna have a ton of manpower now, so you could technically now go in, uh, well, once you get rid of this, you could then delete these units or uh, erase them. You'll get the equipment back, which is nice, and then you'll be able to deploy them again since you'll have a ton of manpower to do it. That way, you don't, you could just switch them if you need to, and you don't have to worry about them vanishing from your front lines. Uh, but just because you decided, oh, I wanna switch all these units to uh, this one, you know, and then, uh, Oh, they're all gone. <laughs> yeah, alright. So that's the first strategy. Here's the second one. Okay, so we're going to do the, this again. We're, we're going to be doing pretty much the same strategy as last time. But what we're going to do now... Well, this, this version of it's a bit different than the one I did for... The fastest. This isn't going to be very fast, but it's going to be more efficient to do it this way. Because you'll have more time, you can develop more units. We're going to be grabbing this division so that we can switch all of our units to that division. And then deploy a ton of them. Well, not a ton of them, actually. Just, just 22 to fill up the first army group. Oh, sorry. Uh, next focus you do is Gateway to Europe. Okay, once electrical mechanical computing is finished, we're going to do the mechanical computing. Just realized I haven't chosen a general. We're going to, have to wait for our field marshal. Oh, I chose um, Petrus uh, Wilhelmus as my general. So, yeah, that's the guy I'm, I'm using. We're going to use Dispersed Industry 1 for that production efficiency. I'm going to ban fascism. I did this in the other one too, so either way, you're going to ban fascism. And since Gateway to Europe is finished, we're going to abandon the gold standard. And we're going to start placating to both of them. Just keep placating them, like, make sure you do this every single time it does it, so... Just so you could be finished as fast as possible. Alright, abandon the gold standard is finished, we're going to do overturn the military budgets. Alright, so now Britain's at 50, we're going to placate Germans. Okay, so now they're both at 50%, that's good. Well, percent, fit, both at 50. So we can just leave them now. Just make sure that they don't, like, get ahead too high. Just as a five difference. Just make sure they, they stay at a five point difference from each other. All right, uh, mechanical computing and dispersed industry are finished. So we'll do dispersed industry two and construction one. And you're finished. So now we can do maintain trade neutrality. Don't spend any of your political power. Just uh, wait. Just sit on it for a bit. They haven't placated anything, so... All right, so now we're neutral. We're gonna go for Legacy of the Mutiny. I'm not even gonna to try to pronounce that. Oh, yeah, we got a ton of political power now, so technically we can spend it, but we're just gonna wait because, well, Captain of Industry is good to grab and probably the Military Theorist. 
Once the legacy, legacy of the, the seven provincian mutiny is finished, we're going to do now the prepare the inundation lines. And we're going to choose the communist revolutionary. All right, so we'll grab construction two now. Next, we'll grab the open up the political discourse. And we'll grab improve, imp ha, improved machine tools. I can't speak. All right, and after that, after this one, we'll do the continue the public works. Okay, so we have the election, and we're going to choose rather form than, than revolution because that will give more uh, communism to us. Let's see if I can get any the communist events this time because I didn't get any last time. Okay, now we'll do the prepared defense once yeah since Grand Panel Plan is finished. And continue the public works is finished, so now we will do finish the Nordusta folder. Okay, we're gonna have 150 political power again, but we're not gonna spend any of it. And we'll choose this first into three, into three three, but we're not gonna actually research it. We're gonna switch to radio. That way that our boost stays on dispersed into th industry three. Oh, we've actually gotten an event this time, uh, which is soldiers desert to communist partisans, which is good. Because now we actually should have, yep, we have enough communism to discredit government and hold a national referendum to switch to communism. But we won't, do any our, won't be doing our communist focuses just yet. Next we will grab our support weapons. Okay, so I'm going to do something I didn't do in my other one. I'm actually going to remove sieves, uh, the mills here and build sieves here. And I'm going to put sieves to the top. Next we'll grab Germany is the greater threat. Okay, Germany is the greater, is the greater threat is finished. So now we will actually start our, our communist focuses. So we'll do red as the new orange. All right, so next we'll do competing machine. Yeah, computing machine. All right, so we have 150 political power. Let us grab. I mean, we could grab this guy, but I mean, we'll lose political power again. Though that is amazing to have, but yeah. We'll wait. We're going to wait for the war support because that'll give us up to partial mob. So we'll grab the artillery designer for now. Support weapons one is finished, so we'll do improved infantry equipment then. And this should be finished in a second, yep. Now, decolonization should depend on whether or not you have these units out yet. You could quick deploy them out, but that's up to you really. So you could switch these to have top priority and then deploy them. I've just been deploying them at their lenience, so. I think I'm, personally, I'm going to get War and Pacifism next, and then, actually, yeah, you should get War and Pacifism next. Not even, not even actually an argument. Get War and Pacifism first, then Decolonization. All right, so War and Pacifism is finished. We will now do Decolonization. If these guys aren't deployed yet, you could just quick deploy them, honestly, so I'm just gonna do it like that. And I'll just prioritize this guy to get equipment, and yeah. All right, so now that we have these decisions, we can now do anti-pacifist propaganda. So you, you always want to choose that one. Don't don't choose these because these actually reduce stuff. Like you'll lose stability with that one and you'll lose production output and production output with that one. So don't do not do that. Well, you, you lose output with that. Just do this one because it gives you war support. Even though it tanks your political bar. I, honestly, it's better to tank your political power than lose things like production. All right, so once all your units are out, I mean, you can you can have uh, now you can just train them all up to. It's shift left click to train them to uh, regulars. Oh, and that's finished. So now we can choose. I can't remember what that was. This, yeah. So we we'll go support weapons too. All right, so prepared for defense is finished. So now we will grab ground assault. Oh, and before. Beforehand, you just want to add support artillery to this division, and yeah, just just that one. It's fine. Oh, and before before this focus finishes, you'll want to switch these so that the gun infantry equipment is at the bottom. And the reason why here, I'm going to show you. So once this finishes, you lose a mil you lose a few military factories. So and that would have stopped. So you want to switch it so that you get those first. So now we'll do Bastion of True Communism, and we will continue that when it's finished. 
So now, since we have a ton of political power, we can grab partial, uh, partial mobilization. And we have some extra units too, so just pop them into you. And shift right, uh, control right click them onto the front line. Our computing machine's finished. We're going to now go and do our interwar artillery. You'll just make sure you gotta get this, like, just keep doing it. Make sure you keep doing it before, like, as soon as it finishes. You need to get rid of it as quick as possible. Now, we're not gonna do enemies on all fronts right now. We're actually gonna do the, um, we're actually gonna try and get rid of the, uh, what is it called? Uh, the Crisis Yaren. Yeah. I think that's how you spell it, or pronounce it. I'm just guessing. Tell me if I pronounce it right, I don't know. Okay, that's finished. We're gonna grab the Bergman. What you could do now is you can grab this unit, pop some support artillery onto that, and start training them. You'll need 16 of them to fill up the next army group, so just attach them to that. Right, into our artillery is finished, so we're gonna grab now the artillery too. The master tunnel is finished, so we're gonna do. Now we're going to do enemies on all fronts. We just need to get rid of Shell Shock Spectator of the Great War. Don't. Also, you don't have to worry about world tension at all. And I'll, I'll talk about that, why that is later. Do it again. Should be finished. Yep. We're going to do Haven of Tolerance. Now we can grab this person to three, three. We can upgrade our new artillery. Okay. There's that. This should be the last one, right? Oh, it, it's actually gone. Shit, I didn't need to do it. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Don't, don't, if it's gone, make sure it's gone the fifth time you do it because you only need to click, hit it five times. <laughs> I just hit it a sixth time, so that's my fault. Yeah, make sure you don't do that because that's a waste of pluck bar. Okay, so now that Shell Shock Spectator of the Great War is finished, is, is all gone, now we can do Bring Socialism South. So, and then this year finished, so I guess we can go for, uh, why not? Close air support. Or CAS, if you want to call it that. Well, CAS, CAS is what everyone calls it, kind of. <laughs> just, just make sure when you're doing this to just check on them to make sure they're not getting guaranteed. World tension is at 31%, and here I'll explain why I was saying earlier that they wouldn't get guaranteed. So it seems to me, I've already explained this in my... So, uh, like, I'm sorry if, if you're watching the entire video, but, yeah, since I've already kind of explained this in the first part, but so to people who are just watching the second part and want to know how to do the focus tree, if you're wanting to... So, it seems to me, when justifying, in the, in the democratic AI, if you, a nation who is justifying is communist, and they are justifying for the first time, they haven't declared a single war beforehand, it's like, for instance, how I'm... I'm technically justifying. This could be count. This does count as justifying, is by getting a war goal. Since I have not declared any wars before doing this, this doesn't count, and they're not. They will not ju uh, guarantee. This does not apply to fascist nations, however. If half fascist nations do it uh, before before twenty uh, after twenty five percent, they always get the nation they're justifying against if they're guaranteeable will always get guaranteed by a democratic nation or sometimes a non-aligned nation like India but if it's communist you pretty much if you're communist you pretty much get a free war goal just just because that's the way the AI is they will just leave you and let you declare one war that's why like for instance as an example if it's past 25 percent world tension and you're the Soviet Union you could justify an Ireland who is not a part of any of the nations that so the Soviets get through their focus tree, and it will have no, it will have no problem. Like you, they, you, uh, Ireland will not get guaranteed at all. So see, they're not guaranteed. I can declare one, both of them. We're actually going to cut these guys. We're not going to produce any more of them. So we get our equipment back, and we should just be able to easily beat them. And since we declared war on both nations, they cannot, uh, they can't join the faction. And they, well, they can if it goes above forty percent, but it shouldn't do that. There we go. Belgium's done. We're going to puppet Zaire, Rwanda, Burundi, and take all states there. 
Okay, you're finished, and we're just gonna push into Luxembourg. Well, tension is not high enough for them to join a faction. Obviously, if you do this a little later, it might you might have problems. You need to do this before it hits 40% world tension, because that's literally all that matters. So there, now you can do repudiate the Treaty of London, and that should be the achievement once you've clicked this. Uh, once you've clicked that uh, little decision. And as I explained in my first part, which I'll explain again, these divisions, be careful with them. They will vanish if you try to switch them, or if you delete them, you will not get the manpower. Even if, even, even if the they're. Even if they're your puppet, still, you will not get the manpower for it, and they will vanish if you try to change them. For example, I want to change it to this division, which is who this this army group is using. And would you look at that? A few of them are actually, actually a few of them stayed, but I'm not sure why. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure why that is, but. Yeah, that, that technically shouldn't have happened. We'll, we'll switch you back to the other person because they're better. But yeah. That, so that's the achievement. Uh, just be careful with those d divisions. Don't don't do uh, don't switch them or anything like that. You sh if if you, you can only modify the simple, don't don't actually like delete it, expecting manpower or anything like that. I think they patched it. I think that only works now. Well, that only works now if you're doing it like, for example, if you're doing the strat with China where you spam out like a million units, switch them all to a strong unit and then annex China and then delete those units, you'll get all of China's manpower out of those units. So like you can get a free like 20 million manpower. Say you're playing as Britain who has problems with manpower late game. So yeah. All right. So this should be the achievement. Now you can go on to defend against Germany. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.